Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So I just rewatched the Walking Dead Season 9 Episode 5 trailer. It's being promoted as Rick's last episode and all that good stuff. Well, not really good stuff. A lot of people, including me, are not very happy that we are losing Rick. However, I respect Andrew Lincoln's decision. I respect him wanting to... Um, you know, have a have a normal life and and spend more time with his family. He's he's dead. He's pretty much dedicated nine years of his life to this show. So I understand. Um, but you know, there is that part of me that's sad and and um, doesn't want Rick to leave the show or die. Um, but anyway, the trailer revealed a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, AMC really went all out with the trailer. They, they might have even showed us some of the best parts as trailers um, are guilty of doing sometimes, well, a lot of times. But we, we, see, we see Shane, we see Rick sitting in the car with Shane, um, talking to each other, um, sort of staring out the front window, similar to how they did in one of the flashbacks in the very first episode, right before Rick got shot, when they were sitting together eating and and talking about women and shit. Um, it's been a while since I watched that episode. But, in, in, and Shane's got like the, the Punisher styled haircut, I guess because the actor didn't have enough time to grow his hair or, you know, a filming obligation. Um, but that's fine. It's cool that we're getting to see Shane again, especially with Rick's last episode. It kind of makes sense to have a, re a reunion between Rick and Shane. And we see Rick standing over the, these this pile of bodies, and I think it's just him imagining everyone being dead. I saw Carol, Jesus, and I think Tara. Um, Jesus was the most obvious one. And then if you look around, you can see some of the other ones, and it's just foggy. And I, um, I mean, it's obviously a hallucination. Rick's just imagining imagining them all being dead, but it's also... A reference to one of the covers of one of the Walking Dead comic issues. I, th I believe it's a variant issue. It's one of the variant issues. I don't know what issue number it is, but it's one of the the variant covers of one of the issues of the comics. It was a few years ago, maybe even more than that. But that's what they're making a reference to. And we see um, Rick with Michonne. Michonne telling him that they don't die. And... I don't know if Michonne's ever said we don't die to Rick. That's something that Andrea says to Rick a lot in the comics. I always thought that Michonne just kept saying, we are the ones who live, we are the ones who live. Like, that's what Michonne said instead of that. So it looks like in this episode, Michonne's going to tell Rick, we don't die, which is exactly what Andrea said to Rick. Um, and in the comics, she's with Rick instead of Michonne at this point in time in the story. So I guess it makes sense to have Michonne actually say what Andrea says. And we we see Rick on the horse, and he's got his injury. So somehow he doesn't die from the cliffhanger of last episode. He he somehow gets off the metal rod. I don't know if someone helps him or if he regains consciousness at the last second. And maybe he kills some of the walkers that get near him. Um, if he kills some of the walkers that get near him, and and their bodies fall on top of him, um, that might somehow prevent the walker the other walkers from getting to him. And maybe he gets a a chance to get out. Um, if, if he can kill enough walkers, maybe he could barricade himself for, for a short period of time somehow. Um, I don't know. But we, we know that he somehow gets out of that particular situation because we see him on the horse, on the same horse that, that pushed him off like a dick. <laughs> um, but he's on that same horse and he's got that injury. So somehow he doesn't get killed by um, the cliffhanger of last episode. He somehow gets off the metal rod and gets back on the horse and we see him traveling um in the atlanta city um on an interstate that that classic image of him um on the road um on the horse going to the city from season one but you have to remember it's not in atlanta it's a hallucination can't talk today but it's not atlanta because they are miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles away from Atlanta. You have to remember, in, um, back in season five, they traveled a very long distance. They traveled to Washington, D.C. The Alexandria Safe Zone is near Washington, D.C. 
They they traveled there during season five. Rick's group traveled there, so they are nowhere near Atlanta. And with Rick, with the state that he's in, with him being injured and everything, there's no way he just magically traveled that distance. So he has to be hallucinating. We already know that he's going to be hallucinating. We we hear him say in the trailer, "I'm just I'm looking for my family." You know something that he says in, in the first season. So this episode makes a lot of references to the first season, the first episode. Um. Which, you know, makes sense because they they would want to bring things full circle. And it's sort of a um, an homage to the character of Rick Grimes. And I think it's to sort of help the fans um, be happy with his exit. To just make references to the very beginning and, and bring everything full circle. I, I do think that makes sense. And um, I hope it's a good episode. Um... You know, I still believe that Rick will die. Um, I just, there's, he's not Sherry. He's not Heath. You know, he, he's not Dwight. He's not one of those characters that can just be out there for, for several seasons. You can't just have a cliffhanger like that with Rick Grimes. So I do believe that he is, he's going to die. And we, we might never see him again. We might never see Rick in a flashback or a dream or hallucination. I mean, who knows? Maybe Andrew Lincoln will want to come back. But it seems like he's done with the show. So, I don't know. I think I think Rick will be dead in a few hours. And we'll just have to accept it. And, you know, those of us who want to keep watching, we just have to keep watching. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. And don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day. So please hit that subscribe button. We are currently at 165 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 200 in the next few weeks. We're really close to that. We're 35 away. 35 is not many. So um, just you know, keep sharing this channel with your friends, family, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, you know, wherever. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's just keep trying to grow this community. I love the community we have. Um, I love the people that leave comments and everything. We, we have a really good community here. So I just want to continue to grow and expand. And hopefully, um, you know, if you like what you see, you'll hit that subscribe button. And we can get to 200 subscribers. Just remember, every subscriber counts. If they did not count, we would not have 165 of them already. So every single one counts. But anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!